All right, we're beginning with line 17 of the Iliad, second video devoted to reading Homer's Iliad in the original Greek. The sons of Atreus, as well as the other well-grieved Achaeans, may the gods give, so that's an optative, give human to you, on the one hand, men, we're going to have a day, and then to qualify Theoi, holding or having their homes on Olympus or their Olympian homes. Ek persai. So may they, may the gods give to you what? To whatever. Okay, and that will be answered in the, at the beginning of this line. Ek persai. To destroy the city of Priam. Kind of funny for a priest of Apollo over in Troy to say, but right now he's concerned about getting his daughter back. You doikad ikesta, and to go well, or safely, or however you want to translate that. On the other hand, to go homeward. Oikad, the delta gives it that it's a thither type of adverb. Paida de moi, lusaite, filain. Free the daughter to me, or my daughter, dear one. So, if this didn't have feeling after lucite, we wouldn't hesitate to translate paida and feeling together. But I didn't do that because it's important for you to see that the fact that feeling comes so far away from paida, not that far, but relatively far means that in the original Greek, when you read it without interposing English between you and the original, you will have something along the lines of daughter to me or my daughter, free, the dear one, the dear daughter, feeling, holding over, suspending the adjective to emphasize it in a way that might not be possible if you were simply to put it right next to Pida. It's not a predicative adjective. It's still attributive, but the word order creates a kind of suspense as to the qualification of the noun. Okay, so we have um, free my dear daughter and accept or receive the Ransom, Apoina, Hazomenoi, honoring the son of Zeus, far shooting or far throwing or far darting Apollo. Thence, on the one hand, all of the other Achaeans spoke well. Aidestai, Theorea, to honor the priest. From hieros, uh, the adjective meaning sacred, so the sacred man, the the priest, and to receive dechthai, the aglaa apoina. We already had apoina, which means ransom. So the shining ransom, aglaa, the shining ransom. Al uk atre de agamemnoni hendane thimo. But there we go again with the adversative, and we have another one at the beginning of the next line. Uk atre de agamemnoni hendane thimo. It was not pleasing to the mind to the son of Atreus Agamemnon. Interesting, right? Because you have datives here serving in two different capacities. The thymo, or tumo, if you want to be strict about the pronunciation of the theta uh, it, and in Homeric times, as far as we know, pronounced more like a T, so tumo. Um, but it did not please the mind. It was not pleasing to the mind, with respect to the mind. And you would expect maybe a genitive of the son of Atreus Agamemnon, but no, you have the dative Y because datives can also be 
That's right, possessive. So you have two different ways in which these two datives are functioning. Alakakos afie, but badly, he's sent away, or sent him away, implied. And elt etele krateron epi, and epi etele. So they go together. You quite often in Homeric Greek will separate the prefix of a verb, and even sometimes place another word between the prefix and the verb, and that's what you have here. Epitelo muthon krateron. So um, something along like the the root of etele is telos, meaning end or goal, so accomplish, so something along the lines of delivered a strong mythos. What does mythos mean? Obviously, you get myth and mythology from that. Originally, it means word, right? So a myth is a word, Heracles. When you know the word Heracles, the idea is that it opens up all kinds of associations and connotations. And that one word is the myth of Heracles. Without that word, you would not have the myth. And that's the idea, the connection between myth and word. May say, Gera, may I not find you, old man, by para the hollow ships, or noon de thunont, Participle, meaning to delay or tarry, or now delaying, or again going further, or again coming again. Me nu toy u chrysme, skeptron kaistema teoil. Me the scepter and fillet or wreaths of the god may not help you now. Tende go u luso. I will not free tame her feminine accusative. Prinmen kai geras epesen. Until uh, before old age comes upon her in our Home in Argos, far from implied her fatherland, Patres. Epoiko menen, another participle, something like it's a specialized term for weaving, so going up and down the loom, stone, kai, um, opposite me in bed. Okay, so anti oosan, emon, bed. So Opposite me in my bed, right? So the auntie across from me. So lying next to me in bed is the idea. 